Hello everyone, welcome to part 136 of advanced e-com series in Laravel 8. So we will continue working on the orders module in admin panel. Okay, in the last video we have seen that we able to display all the orders in admin panel. Uh, and in this video we are going to show the complete order details. Okay, so uh, client can able to click any of the order and can view the complete order details in the admin panel from where the client can able to uh, update the status uh, of the order generate the invoice and can check the other things as well okay so here uh, we have given uh, that uh, uh, icon in the last video you can see but now we are going to give the link to this icon view order details okay so i will open this file and that is the orders.blade.php file so let's open this file orders dot blade dot php and i'm going to check that where it is exactly orders dot blade dot php file oh sorry not this one uh this is some other folder sorry for that i'm going to remove this one this is the basic e-commerce series this is the advanced e-commerce series so this is our folder and i am going to open the orders dot blade dot php file and here you just require to go to this file uh, orders.blade.php file where we have created uh, all the orders uh, where we are showing all the orders and here we are going to assign the url to this view order details here we are going to create the url for it and that uh, will be like uh, in admin folder in orders we will make it orders then after that we will pass the order id okay so here we are going to pass the order id dollar order and its id like this so this one we can uh, we will create this route in our next step Okay, so we will create its route in our next step admin slash order slash order id. Uh, so I am going to open the web.php file and here after orders we are going to create one more route here. Route get orders and after orders there comes the order id here and it's mandatory we will not add the question mark here so after this one orders controller uh, sorry i forgot to add code here orders controller at the rate of order details like this and now this function we are going to create inside orders controller file locator at the admin orders controller at admin so here we are going to create the function in the same way like we have created at the front end orders details and here we will pass the id from where we will get the order details so here also we are going to fetch uh, the order uh, with the order products okay so we already know that in last few videos we have created the relation this one to fetch the order products as well so this one we are going to attach with the order and we are going to get the orders of particular order id okay sorry uh, the order details of particular order id okay so we will take it first and we'll convert to to array so that we can able to convert this one to array so this we are going to return admin orders order details like this okay so we will pass the order details array to order underscore details blade file that we will create inside the orders folder in admin okay so here we can see the ecom folder is our folder and inside this one resources views admin 
then orders and inside orders we can see the orders.blade.php file and we will create one more file i am going to copy this file and we'll create now uh, order underscore detail so i will create order underscore details uh, dot blade dot php file okay so this file i will create and will open here in which we are going to make the changes order underscore detail dot php file in admin we have uh, at front as well and now this is the admin file where we are going to uh, make the changes so here uh, like we are passing home and now we are passing the order details like in front here also uh, we are we will pass that order id and that is coming from the array order details array so we can give like this Detail. Uh, so i can also open the order details at the front end that will help us to uh, show all the order details and these details we are going to use in the uh, in this page so i am going to refresh and will open this file i will click on this one so here uh, there is some issue is coming okay so uh, we can see here we need to uh, make changes so what we can do we can uh, remove this complete section now uh, that we are not required anymore i'm going to remove we will add the new section here and we'll refresh here here you can see the empty page is coming up and here you can see the order uh, for detail is coming so here we required the new template so we need to open our uh, yeah, this admin LTE template this template we need to open we want to add some of the widget uh, for showing the older details so I will go to my donors folder and you need to check out the uh, template that we have uh, uh, started in the beginning of the series admin LTE 3.0.2 and we can open this one and inside this uh, we need to go to pages and we need to go to tables where are the tables pages tables are not there uh, okay so no issue now uh, i will do one thing i will open this index.html and from here i will go to the tables and will open the simple tables so here you can see uh, this kind of layout we want we don't want the internal data but we want the layout like this okay so we want to show the data like this and for this one we will copy this simple dot html and it is located inside pages inside tables and this one simple dot html so i will open this file here simple dot html inside pages inside tables in uh, this one this file okay from this file we are going to copy uh, this uh, complete uh, 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 data we are going to copy so i will search where it is so i can copy this one and will paste there so here it is so this is the main content so i am going to copy this complete main content from here to our file like this and now i'm going to check whether uh, our page will have that data now you can see now we able to get all the data now we are going to replace everything okay so uh, so let's do so we have few things here uh, that we want to display like in the front end as well we are going to show the order details we are going to show the delivery address and we are going to show the ordered products okay and we are also going to show the user details billing address as well customer details as well that we will also show so uh, first of all we are going to show the order details uh, like uh, we have shown uh, here in at front end so same order details we are going to show at uh, admin panel as well so here I am going to replace it with the order details. So I can do one thing here to save time. Uh, I can uh, copy uh, this one 
uh, from here to there okay uh, so that uh, we can simply uh, make our task faster so uh, this one we can copy after order details and we can uh, remove this all content all together we can remove okay, and here we can remove up till this one and we'll paste like this from front end it will save our time let's see all the details come up see here order details is coming fine here we are showing the order detail date order status order total shipping charges coupon code coupon amount and payment method and this one uh, we are required to remove uh, this last one this is not required paging is not required here so we can keep it like this okay so all other details are required order date order status order total shipping charges coupon code uh, coupon amount payment method and one more is required that is the payment gateway that we will do later on no issue okay so that also required because in case of if payment method is prepared then we are going to show the payment gateway like pay you money uh, paypal okay so one more we can add here and that is the payment gateway okay so like this and now we are going to show the more details and we are going to show uh, now uh, delivery address like in front end uh, we are showing the delivery address and billing address as well uh, so both we are going to show first of all we are going to show here the delivery address we are going to replace uh, replace this one uh, so i'm going to copy the delivery address here we are already having the complete details so only thing we need to copy at the right place so that uh, we can simply uh, get the correct data so here we can copy this one and this one we can remove the unwanted code we can remove and here we can copy everything up till tr like this now it seems to be fine now we can check here refresh and you can see the delivery address is coming up here but there is no line is coming up uh, we need to check once uh, okay so this table border is required here so we can copy this one and we replace it with this one and let's see and this one is also not required now we can check once and you can see now it seems to be fine and here you can see but uh, only thing is uh, here it is coming at the center but it is coming with space uh, we can check once what is something different uh, card body table uh, board, okay that is fine and drtd fine so there is no other change except this one card header card title fine uh, card, card title that is fine card body and table border okay so there is no other difference and only thing is this one and if we are going to copy the same thing uh, we can do one thing here uh, we can copy this one uh, this complete this delivery address card okay so uh, this card okay so I am going to copy this one let's see what will happen details coming up and now I am going to copy the inner one mm. 
no it's coming like this only uh, there is uh, border uh, is coming according to the data no issue uh, we can use it like this only okay so here you can see uh, all the details are coming and living address is coming now we want to show uh, the billing address as well and we want to show the customer details as well uh, but first of all we want to show the uh, ordered products data and that will come up here uh, so we can remove this last thing this is not required this last table is not required fixed header table is not required so we can remove this one fixed header table that we can remove from here okay so this last table we have removed and this one we can uh, we can have the data uh, from the ordered products and for order products we can copy this data see first of all we are going to copy the headings so we can replace it with this one and now we are going to copy this for each loop okay so this one we can copy and we can paste uh, here we can replace all these and uh, let's see how it looks refresh and some error comes okay so here we need to add the product like uh, uh, we have included the product at the top here also we require to add the product at the top as well so now we are going to check again and you can see the data is coming up now okay so this one we can replace with the ordered products and we can remove the search as well as there are not more than three four products a user uh, can order four five or ten products and if it is required then only add the search otherwise you can use the data table as well so here we will mention ordered products like this now we can refresh and you can see now it seems to be fine and here we can remove the search as well is complete tool we can move now we can okay so now the ordered products are coming and we want to replace these two as well and that we will replace with the user details uh, so uh, one thing we need to do here uh, we just require to fetch the user details and for that uh, uh, we require to update our order details function okay so uh, we are required to update the order details function so that uh, we can get the user details as well and after that we can use the user details here uh, we can replace these two okay uh, so that we will do in next video so stay tuned for that and uh, we will finish this complete section and we will also show uh, that uh, uh, updating order status okay so uh, we will also show the tab for updating the order status as well okay so these three modules we are going to add in our next video and the functionality of order status and after that we are going to work on the order email and sms as well and that will complete our order section then we can manually yeah one more thing we will do that generating the invoice uh, so that the client uh, can start processing their orders and can make the website online can make the web website live for the users okay with the cod and after that we will do the shipping charges as well okay uh, so stay for the next video uh, we will complete this orders section in admin panel uh, so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye